welcome, welcome to Yoga Express. Today, we're treating this like a general full body cool down because let's be honest, yoga was my forte. Definitely got to grow and love it during this COVID time for sure. Um, however, I'm not, uh, not, not a yoga instructor. And so I want to finish out the uh, last group fitness, the last live yoga with Jen Express class with something that everyone can do no matter what their yoga experience. And that's just full, nice full body cool down. Some of the exercises will be yoga inspired for sure. But some will just be more traditional. So I'm going to use my thicker mat, <clears throat> but you can try to present use your regular yoga mat. So no worries. So we have some new stuff coming in February. So some of the stuff will be changing. And one of those is this class. So <laughs> go a little bit more into depth in a little bit, um, I mean, like 10 minutes or so, but I'm going to get started now. So first I'm going to do, I just, I'm going to do my, my, I'm um, kind of meditation-y getting ready type of thing. I'm just going to have my feet out straight and my back up against a wall. If you don't have a wall near you that you can lean up against and have a nice straight back, totally do whatever. You can lay on your back. You can do the traditional kind of get, get ready for class, um, zoning. So no worries. I have my shoes on today. Um, already for my, my workout that I just did. Um, but you can totally be in your regular yoga clothes, no worries. Let's take six breaths in together. Beautiful. All right, I'm just going to push myself away from the wall. I'm going to bend the knees, give them a big hug. I'm going to sit up nice and tall, and I'm going to turn my head. And the other way. So no matter what exercise you do, this is going to work for everybody. Including yoga. Come back to center. Let's open up those knees. Feet together. Nice straight back. You know the drill. And lean forward. And you decide are your knees um, a little higher? Are they a little lower? And you can adjust that by having your feet in or out. And sometimes in trying to do these more yoga poses with shoes on. So because your feet are obviously farther apart because you have shoes, so does that change your perception of the pose? All right, sitting up tall, and I'm just gonna hold on to those knees. I'm just gonna do a little circle to the torso. And the other. One leg out and one leg in. Lift yourself up, plop yourself back down. So we are here. And actually, I'm going to turn this way. So I'm on the mat a little bit more. If I have the mat, I might as well use it. <clears throat> All right, so I'm here. I'm going to bring, so this is my left leg. This is my left arm. You can do the opposite. That's totally fine. I'm going to bring that arm down. And I'm going to bring the other arm up towards the sky. And lean that arm over. So there will be a Yoga Express offered next Tuesday at a regular time. It was a recorded class, so it is not um, it is not live. And all the classes are still going to be available. You can go um, Facebook page, 
YouTube page, or if you would like my um, Health for Miles YouTube page up, I have some dolls shaped on there as well. And come on up, if you're an old school person from the beginning of COVID, that's where we used to put all the classes were on our own pages. So if you belong to that page from before, they're all on there, so. Actually, no, I'm going to take it back. We're staying, we're staying there. <clears throat> let's now pivot towards that leg and let's do a hamstring stretch while we're here. And then come on up, bring my right arm back behind and do a spinal twist. Now we're going to switch out to the other So we're lifting up, popping ourselves back down, bringing that foot in, bringing that other foot up. And let's take this arm, bring it down, and let the other arm come straight up. So shoulder on top of shoulder. Hamstring stretch. And come on up and last spinal twist. And that's released. Now let's come on <clears throat> to your knees. Let's sit back and we're gonna do some little camel mobility here. So that's when we're bringing our pelvis and pointing it out like it's a big beacon of light just pointing out like a, like a lighthouse to the ocean. And we're gonna kind of lift up and bring those arms back behind um, to do a nice little quad stretch. To the best of your ability, no pressure whatsoever. First time through, I'm definitely going to bend my knees, and then we'll see how it goes. So, I uh, sorry, bend my knees. My knees are bent. Bend my feet, tuck my toes under. All right, so if you'd like to join me here, feel free. If you have another mobility challenge or you are already going to go into the full expression, please do so. I'm going to bring my arms up. Do a little back bend first. I'm going to bring those hands behind, put them on the tops of my heels, and then push those quads forward. And lose your cord, push yourself up, not your hands. And let's relax here, take a second. Play a little back and forth if you'd like. Have some off music on. Next round through, I'm gonna tuck my toes again, um, personally. You can do otherwise. So that's those twist. Arms up, a little back bend, and bring those arms back behind. And push those quads forward. And we come on up. Quick, and we have one more left, and I'm going to try with the tops of the feet on the ground. We'll see how it goes. All right, let's bring those arms up and then back behind. Let's see, let's see. And if 
you need to push to come up, let's do what you gotta do, what you gotta do, no worries. And then sit back and let's come into a cross-legged position. <sighs> All right, let's bring the arm across and let's move around that wrist and that hand. So some people have heard um, talking, and I'm not saying super reverse because that's not what it is, um, but have heard, heard discussions, some people already know. Um, but using this as a platform to let all of the virtual youth users know that are a part of our yoga program. Um, some of them already know crossover that take Kenley's class because he's talked about it. But they saw a huge crossover between Kenley's class and my classes. So um, the contract for MITRE was up for, uh, for renewal and the company that I am with, Cobra Fitness Works, did not get a renewal. So it happens. It's unfortunate, but it's, it's part of the game. We've been up for renewal. This is the third time. And the other ones have gotten them and this one we have not. So cross back behind. And so there is a new company coming in on February 1st. Uh, sometimes people in the new company are um, asked to interview and submit applications and resumes and things like that. Relax and let's just do some shoulder rolls. And sometimes they are not. The New Bedford um, team was not asked to interview. And so of course we're not asked to return. So. February 1 is Kenley and myself the last day with with you all doing these wonderful programs and classes with you. So it's unfortunately, but thankfully we have recordings of all of these classes we've done, so well over a thousand. And release. Bring one on behind and pull it across. This definitely gives Kelly and I an opportunity to explore some things that we have not do yet done in our professional careers, whether that is changing them completely and starting anew or trying different avenues out within fitness. I know that I am studying right now for my certified medical exercise specialist exam, and so I'm going to see where that leads me and switch. Gives me a chance to potentially work with people that are not part of the healthy population, so people with arthritis and and COPD and um, high cholesterol and things like that that would use a lot more kind of hands-on. So I'm gonna take that test, see how it goes, see what, th throw some spaghetti at the ball and see what sticks. So release, and then finally we're gonna come up towards the opposite shoulder. So that's kind of the plan. Um, Jessica and Alex are staying at the Bedford, uh, at the Bedford, at the McLean campus. They were invited to stay and so they are. I'm very happy for them. Thrilled that there is someone to help you through the transition to a new um, team, especially at um, the Bedford location. So keep nose from them, or keep an eye out and an ear out from them. They'll let you know exactly what's happening and walk you through the whole thing. There obviously will not be new classes uh, posted to the YouTube page and Facebook page as they are. There'll be new ones made. Switch. So we'll invite you over to those or whatever types of social media accounts are started. We'll definitely keep up, oh, they'll definitely keep up some great programming and, and they will have our contact information for sure. If you use the Facebook, um, my, my first, my account is here, so you can probably message me on Facebook if you'd like. If you do use the um, Health for Miles YouTube page, you can message me on that if you'd like. Release and shake it out. All right, bring it forward. Make sure those hips are on the ground. So if you are local in Bedford and on site, um, I am on site on Monday the 30th from 6 to 2, and Kelly will be on site on the 31st from 8 to 4 if you'd like to stop by and say hi. If you'd like to, like to talk, if not, totally get it, no worries. Um, Just like a little thumbs up or a smiley face works perfectly well. And release. I've been with MITRE for eight years and in corporate fitness and wellness for 19. So definitely seen a lot of, a lot of comings and goings in that amount of time. So nothing.
taking not, nothing personal and using this as an opportunity for growth and expansion, but definitely this working out for you. did a workout before this, you're coming from, you're, you got to keep on the hydration. <sighs> okay, so let's bring this leg around. So we have one leg kind of bent at 90 here, and one leg bent at 90 here, roughly. <clears throat> I'm going to bring my hands behind, and unfortunately my mat is, is not wide enough um, side to side to have both arms on, but I'm going to have as best as I can, and I'm going to push up and just push those hips forward. Shoulders back and down, and let's just look at those. And come down. Alright, switching out. <clears throat> same thing, same setup. And let's go. Push it up. And then come on down and transfer yourself over to a tabletop. All right, I've been working really hard at trying to put my hands straight and flat on the ground. See, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. <laughs> Not that great, but I'm trying. All right, so let's do, um, let's slide forward a little bit. All right, bring one leg back and let's stretch out that calf. And then come up and then curl off to the back behind and push back. Definitely it's amazing when you are getting back to testing out sensitivities of your body, like for example, my hands. You don't really feel the difference in the in the in the force transition. Like you know that obviously your body's holding on to things differently if you're like straight back versus cross over. That makes total sense. But you don't really feel it in your hand as much when you're trying to work on a sensitivity issue. You really can feel it. It's crazy. All right, let's come back and let's do the other side. Kind of makes you take things um, a little bit more or a little bit less for granted, I guess. And it, what an amazing thing the body is. And then come up. I'm going to bring my, ooh, unkill my right arm, bring it down to the ground with my forearm. I'm going to take my left arm, bring it up toward the sky, and then bring it through and bring that ear to the ground. If I would like to take my right hand off the ground, my right forearm off the ground and do a twist or a bind, I'm more than welcome to. I can come on to the tabletops with my fingers if I want. Whatever variation works for you. And then unbind if you were bound, and then come back up, and I'm going to switch to the other side. So my left forearm is on the ground, my right arm is up towards the ceiling, and then looping it through. Ear down. Untwist if you need to, and then come back up, and let's just do four cat cows a piece. All right, so coming to your tabletop. And let's go through, at your own pace, distributing the weight. 
equally amongst the hands. And one more last. into a puppy posture or you can go downward dog if you like forearms back on the ground forehead on the ground and push those hips back if you feel a lot more mobile you can totally come to where your chest is on the ground here instead of your forehead i cannot demonstrate that so i'm not even going to try but i've seen it done do a figure four stretch on the ground. So all the way down, cross one leg over, point those toes up towards the ceiling. And if you'd like to put a little bit of pressure on this hip to open it up a little bit, you can. And then we're going to grab behind the other thigh and straighten that other leg if you'd like, or keep it bent. And then lift the hip if you would like, or keep it, keep it down. Make sure the shoulders are down either way. And then release. I'm going to cross that leg over and drop those knees to the side. Open up my arms. I'm going to look just straight up if that feels good, but if you'd like to turn that head to the side, feel free. Twist yourself. And let's do the other side. So crossing that leg over, toes pointed up. Open up that hip if you would like. And grabbing behind the thigh. And meshing side A to side B. And then really cross those knees and bring them on over. And then um, cross, straighten those legs out, bring them towards the bottom left side of the mat. If you'd like to cross one over the other, you're more than welcome. Otherwise, they can just be near each other. And I'm going to grab my right arm and do a nice banana stretch to one side. And then switch it out, coming to the other side of the mat and grabbing the other arm, pull it over.
and then come to the middle. I'm just gonna slow myself down a little bit. And do a full body stretch. Stretch, stretch, up as high and as long as you can. And we're gonna go into our Shavasana for the last two and a half minutes. And then we're going to end class today in that Shavasana. So set yourself up for whatever you need, including water, pillow, whatever, whatever you need. And of course, if you kind of stay in our Shavasana longer than two and a half minutes, feel free. So I'll just kind of stay in by in that position and let us all kind of do our thing. So if you want one more live class with me, I am doing the fitness challenge on Friday. I'm not sure what we're going to do yet. Obviously, it is not stretching. It is more challenge based, but I usually don't figure those out until Friday because I can see what, what muscles are sore and stiff. So when you are ready, and only when you are ready, you can start moving, wiggling around, opening your eyes, and making your way back to a productive day, evening, morning, night. Thank you so much for doing yoga and yoga-related stretches with me for the last couple of years. Have a great rest of your day, and be healthy.